dear students uh, this is our 39th lecture on organic reaction mechanism and continuing with the aromatic electrophilic substitution in this lecture we will discuss about the applications and mechanism of halogenation as i have told you uh, that uh, electrophilic aromatic substitution is an organic reaction where one atom from the aromatic system is substituted by an electrophile and uh, the atom which is usually uh, substituted from the aromatic ring is hydrogen and generally electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions uh, they can be categorized into these uh, four categories nitration sulfonation halogenation and friedel craft reactions out of these two nitration and sulfonation we have already discussed and uh, in today's lecture we will be discussing halogenation uh, as per electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction so here when aromatic compounds they are reacted with bromine chlorine or iodine they are converted into corresponding aryl halides and uh, the catalyst used uh, in most of these reactions is either iron uh, trichloride or uh, iron trihalide or aluminum trihalides depending upon the type of halogen which is being used uh, for these types of conversions for example uh, the aromatic electrophilic halogenation uh, is very useful method Uh, for adding uh, halogen substituents to an aromatic system so when uh, for example uh, phenol uh, will react uh, with the halogens then even we do not require any catalyst whereas for other uh, aromatic systems uh, we generally require a lewis acid catalyst and most commonly used uh, lewis acid catalyst they are anhydrous aluminum chloride anhydrous ferric chloride or ferric bromide or zinc chloride so we can use any of these catalysts for conversion of uh, aromatic compounds into aromatic halides so for example this benzene in presence of any halogen like chlorine bromine or iodine can be converted into aryl halides in presence of catalytic amount of any of these catalysts as far as mechanism of this reaction is concerned we uh, can divide this mechanism into three steps first step uh, like uh, we have seen in case of uh, nitration and sulfonation is formation of highly reactive electrophilic intermediate and then uh, that electrophilic intermediate will attack in the second step uh, to the aromatic system and which is a slow step and rate determining step and in the final step deprotonation of uh, the intermediate formed in the second step will take place and uh, we will get the product through aromatization of the intermediate so you can see for an example if uh, we are doing uh, chlorination of the aromatic system uh, and uh, the catalyst used for this is most commonly ferric chloride so in the first step chlorine will react with ferric chloride and we will get this type of intermediate where we will get fcl4 negative is associated with uh, cl positive which will act as a as an electrophile so because of the presence of uh, the uh, because of the polarization of this uh, uh, chlorine chlorine bond uh, this becomes more reactive as an electrophile in the presence of ferric chloride and uh, fcl4 negative is a better leaving group than the cl negative if only chlorine is used so uh, chlorine on reaction with ferric chloride will give us the, this type of intermediate 
and uh, this intermediate is more electrophilic than the chlorine itself. So, uh, in the second step the aromatic system say benzene reacts with this uh, more electrophilic intermediate and uh, we will get this type of sigma complex which is a resonance hybrid of these uh, type of structures. And in the final step uh, the FeCl4 uh, -E formed in the first step. Uh, this will uh, abstract one proton from the sigma complex formed in the second step and aromatization of the aromatic system will take place and we will get chlorobenzene as the product. So, this is how uh, the chlorination of benzene will lead to the formation of chlorobenzene. So, this is a three step mechanism for conversion of benzene into chlorobenzene through electrophilic aromatic substitution. So, same mechanism is followed if instead of chlorine we use uh, bromine then uh, bromine will react with FeBr3 and here the leaving group will be FeBr4 negative which will be a better leaving group than Br negative. So, then if we use bromine over here and FeBr3 over here then the product formed will be bromobenzene. So, the uh, general mechanism is this one and by this we can prepare any kind of chloride, bromide or iodide through uh, electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions. Then these are some of the examples uh, of electrophilic aromatic substitution as I have told you that in case of phenols no catalyst is required and simply we add halogens in the solvent and at room temperature uh, in 8 hours the bromination at both the ortho positions of this phenol will take place and we will get uh, this uh, uh, paracrisole will be converted into uh, this uh, 2 6 dibromo paracrisole as the product and presence of uh, uh, other uh, substituent at this position in place of OH if we are having ethers or amines then also these are uh, strong activating substituents and uh, then also we do not require any catalyst for such type of uh, electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions. Then electrophilic aromatic uh, substitution reaction uh, is also used uh, for conversion of uh, different types of dyes. For example, uh, the food dye erythrocene uh, this one uh, can be synthesized uh, by the iodination of uh, this uh, dye which is known as fluorescein. So, uh, simply uh, what is happening is that iodination at the ortho position to the phenol they are taking place. So, you can see as we have seen in the previous example that bromination at the ortho position has taken place and here also because we are using phenolic components. So, we do not require any catalyst only 4 equivalents of iodine they are added and at these 4 ortho positions 1. 2, 3 and 4. So, there are 4 ortho positions with respect to this phenolic group and at all these 4 positions the hydrogen is replaced by or hydrogen is substituted by iodide group. So, this is how the uh, one type of dye is converted into another type of dye and this erythrocene dye is used in many types of food articles. So, this is called as food dye and this can be simply synthesized from iodination of uh, fluorescein. So, this is a very important reaction for electrophilic aromatic iodination. Then uh, another example is in case of uh, 2 phenyl ethylamine uh, this is the substrate 2 phenyl ethylamine and uh, when chlorination of uh, this 
substrate is done in presence of carbon tetrachloride then n chlorination will take place uh, h from here and 1 cl from here hcl is removed and we will get n chloro 2 phenyl ethylamine as the intermediate and then this intermediate uh, through intramolecular uh, reaction uh, which is uh, uh, electrophilic aromatic substitution will be converted into either an ortho product or a para product. But uh, because of the uh, stereochemistry uh, of the substrate the more of ortho product is formed and ortho product is formed in 95 percent amount whereas para product is formed in 5 percent amount. So, we can say that uh, 2 phenyl ethylamine this shows ortho regio selectivity uh, due to the intermediate formation of the chloramine <coughs> which enables uh, an intramolecular uh, electrophilic aromatic substitution D. So, these are the references which have been used for preparing this reaction, uh, this lecture. Thank you very much.